What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're using mods to find Garden of Endman 7 Secrets. That's right, today it is already time. We already played through the full game yesterday. Now it's mod time. Secret time. <laughs> I'm excited. There's so many like places that I want to just like see what's behind certain walls. I want to fly around, just discover some stuff, have some fun. That's what today's all about. So yeah, we are using a mod today, and <laughs> I'm excited to use it, but Kokosko wasn't able to make this one, so I had to like try to do it myself, and it's a little, <laughs> it's a little wonky. Hold on, you'll see it right here. Woo! <laughs> Bye, Ramon. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> I just lost it. I'm like, no, wait, don't leave. But essentially, how this works is I can like separate my camera, I think, from my remote, and then I can just fly around, which goes really fast. And already we can kind of find secrets here by like just I can create a light in this room and. There's, oh, whoa, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Why is Syringion just hanging out in this room over here? <laughs> oh my gosh, and this one doesn't have any eyes or anything. Oh, wow. See, it's things like this that you would never know are just hidden behind this wall right here. But in this episode, I want to go around the entire city, see if we can find some secret rooms and maybe there's just secret doors. I remember looking around in the other games and there was text hidden on the walls that were like, if you if you're seeing this, Hello, <laughs> so the Euphoric Brothers know that we do like mods for it. So first off, where does this guy run to? I kind of want to see. So I wonder if we can even like get to do this. How does this work? Hello? <laughs> okay, wait, so here we go. The remote is off this way. This is where he is. Oh my gosh, I can't even see anything anymore. Where, where did he go? I think, <laughs> I think he just jumped off the map. He's like nowhere to be seen. Oh my gosh, wait. Hidden under the map is, uh, what is it? The uh, Tamataki and Chamataki. So right away, you would never even know this, but you're walking here. I can imagine like a secret little hole in the ground and just under it <laughs> is this. Hi guys, how's it going? Looks like you've been, uh, turned into Jivania monsters, huh? but it, it's okay. You're just staring off into the distance. All right, so we are beginning our journey by entering the city of City Injion. Actually, you know what's a really good place to check? You know the, the guy who's like, oh, yelling? What if we go there and just use the camera to just like look at what's going on? All right, where would that be? That's the, the motel, right? It's so cool that we have like an open world city to just wander around in. Okay, right here. So now I'm gonna use my camera to just fly up to here. Oh, I can hear him now. All right. Hello there, man. How's it going? All right. <laughs> it's just so funny because now, because I'm pretty much not there, he just constantly yells. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right. So, uh, is there? Is he actually even yelling at anything? Hold on. Wait. Oh my gosh, he is. Hold. On, let me let me put a light in there. It is literally. <laughs> It's literally just Bitter Giggle, aka Jester, just standing there T-posing. I mean, yeah, I kind of understand why he's yelling. <laughs> he's like, ah, look at him. Hey, what's up? How's it going? That is kind of crazy to think that he's actually standing there. Dude, you're going to lose your voice. <laughs> Stop yelling. I think the funny thing is that you can go, <laughs> you can go in and out of the room. Listen. <laughs> Uh, my humor is so simple. All right, but we can just kind of zoom out this entire situation and see everything. It's like we can even see this. It's kind of like this building was built with the anticipation of a chase scene. And in fact, we can just see every single like area. Was there anything secret in the maze? When I was running through, I was wondering, like, was there anything secretive? It doesn't look like it. And then this is where it ends. And I want to see under. Yes, there's another one right here. Another jester slash bitter giggle just hiding in Sheriff uh, Toadster's area. <laughs> look at that, man. There's so many things that I, I want to check out. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, one, I wanted to see this. So this is Kitty Saurus. I, we never really knew. This is also the weird area that you like click the button they just start dancing but look it's just kitty saurus just all contained and it almost looks cinematic too like if we zoom out oh that looks so cool but yeah here's our uh buddy zolfius hey what's up man am i a little too close am i a little too close i can give him some more lights but i don't think that'll add anything he's just so far out in the world. All right, so now the next place I kind of want to look at is the theater. The entire time, it seems like Stinger Flint's just waiting for us, but now we don't need him. We're just gonna fly inside. When I was playing this, I was literally thinking like, what is hidden behind these like 
uh, boards. Now I could literally just add a light and see. And it's nothing. It is empty rooms and I think at least this side. Oh, but on this side, the other side is, you could just see like the Tarta bird slash a pillow bird like statue back here. Oh man, that is so creepy. And it's literally just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Hi there, you uh, what cool eyes you have. <laughs> they're very piercing. All right, so I went and checked pretty much like every single area and it seems like they're pretty much all empty. But what we haven't checked is the actual stage, which, oh, they're already there. Hold on, wait, the, the pillow bird uh, uh, and Tarta bird are there too. <laughs> it's like they're part of the play. <laughs> Look, a pillow bird, Tarta bird, they're all just standing there, every single character. They're all just waiting around like, I wonder if anybody will show up. Oh wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I th Okay, so I guess the, what is it? The, the giant bird statue comes onto the stage and they just hide in it. Oh, okay, so I just went to Sheriff Toadster's house and there seems to be like another room. Have we been in here before? We actually might have, hold on. Oh wait, no, we haven't. What is this? There's just a staircase that leads to nowhere. Oh wow, that's so cool. I wonder if he has anything like hidden in these like, oh no, they're, they're just completely empty back there. Maybe in like a future mod, we could just make him his own little secret house down here. All right, as we continue forward, it's kind of hard. We, I, there's so many places to look that it's kind of like, there could be just secrets everywhere. Oh, and in fact, oh, wait a minute. This, okay, I know what this is. This is really cool technology. This type of room is not real. I know you're looking at it before your very eyes, but look at this. If I go inside, it's gone immediately. This is a flat picture, believe it or not. They actually use this in the Spider-Man game to give the illusion that it's real. Do you see how it moves? It's literally a 2D picture that goes like this and moves along with the camera. It's such like, it, I feel like the game development side of me came out. I was like, ah, look at this. <laughs> because um, you're able to put a realistic looking room without it like, lagging out your computer, you know? And it, look, it's like the same two things, right? Over and over again, but how it moves with the camera, it's so cool. So much so that you can almost like look inside of it, but you can see if you get too close, you can kind of see how it works a little bit too well, where it like kind of moves with the camera and glitches out a little bit. But that was a little sidebar with that Blake on game development. All right, so in the idea of checking every building, this one's empty. This one's empty, okay. Same with this one and this one. Okay, so I wanna see if there's anything that they have hidden in the background. All right, I've been going around adding lights everywhere to see if I can find something. It doesn't look like there's anything so far. We got giant rock with, uh, I think there's, uh, yeah, like the tiny little slug creatures there, the naughty ones. Oh, you know what would be a really cool place to check? The end of the game. That whole area with the sticker, that we like rip off. I wonder if that would be like a good place. Oh, also in the apartment area, what is hidden behind these rooms? Eh? And it seems like a lot of nothing. So you can still hear the guy yelling, but on the bottom floor, there's just an empty room. What about this one? Okay, there's this guy. Is there anything else? Oh, and on the very, very bottom floor is this guy. I don't think we talked to this one. I don't even know. And then there's another empty room right next to it. So I'm trying to progress in the story a little bit. And it's funny because mid conversation, I could just be like, and I'm gone. I am, I'm leaving. <laughs> also, I didn't check, but I wonder if, I wonder if Sheriff Toaster is just standing back there the entire game, just waiting for me. And he's just like sitting in the alley, like, come on. Where's the player? <laughs> so another thing that I do have with this mod is the ability to freeze NPCs. It seems weird, but I want to try it out because if <laughs> if Jester just jumps out to try to attack us, can we just go boop, pause, hold on, <laughs> and we just stop him? All right, just to test it out. We still have the light there. I'm going to do this. Okay, it, it freezes everything. Hold on. Okay, so let's see. All right, so he should stop now. Okay, now what if I do this? I go, oh, I just stop it. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for him to come out. And, hello. Okay. There's nothing happening, man. Hold on, you always hated my jokes. I can fly, <laughs> I can fly around. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna stop right here. All right, there we go. So now I can get a good look at him. Whoa, everything about him is so purple. You could even see like the reflections in his eyes, but he's so like just full of hatred. Hold on, so let me just, uh, let me do this real quick. 
All right, run. We're gonna jump up here. Uh, okay, now I want to see what happens if I do this. So he immediately just chases right after you. I'm gonna unpause it. Okay, he runs fast. Okay, I can just see what happens in slow motion. Or wait, hold on. Can I move? I can move in slow motion too. Oh, this looks so cinematic. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I, I feel like, oh wait. I was like, I feel like I can maybe move faster. I don't know. It feels weird. I'm running really slow, but relative to, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> it caught me immediately. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I just got to the ending. <laughs> we are here and I wanted to see what it would be like to kind of fly around with a different camera to see that like cool ending fight scene. Also, maybe there's stuff hidden in the background as we're doing the cutscene, And now I could just fly around as I'm in this little box here. Okay, wait, hold on. So I think I could just fly out and look at this. I never even noticed this was here. Was this always here, this little grab thing? So he just said, ready and brace myself. And I'm just gonna fly, fly over here and just wait. All right, so where does he like spawn in? Okay, hold on. He's about to just, oh wait, there he is. I see him. Oh, what, what? Okay, yeah, he just kind of flies around. It's kind of cool to be able to fly around during this like cutscene to do anything we want. All right, now we get to see everything from a top-down view. I could even move. Ooh, so now I see that it was just like magnets or something, right? Okay, so let's see, where do they all like spawn in from? Hold on. Okay, so it seems like they just spawn in from outside of the map. Hold on, I see them just hiding right there. Yeah, they're all just hiding right here. <laughs> I can see their eyes. <laughs> oh, but this is cool. Hold on. He's about to spawn in. I think right here, right? Oh, <laughs> he's just standing here. Jumbo Josh. <laughs> Jumbo Josh just slides in. Oh, man. That's so cool, though. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to do, though. Hold on. I could go boom. And wait, hold on. Boom. Freeze time. Oh, this is so cool. Now. I can make it slow motion here. So look at this. We get to see a slow motion battle of Jumbo Josh here. Woo! Oh, I'm not even in the box. What am I doing? Hold on. <laughs> Help! What's going on? <laughs> Whoa, but this is going to be so cool. <laughs> look at that. So that's how far he throws him. All right. Ooh. And we get to see all of their just dropping. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that was just out of the map. Oh man, this is so cool. Can I speed it up and make it comically fast now? Hold on, here we go. Okay, look, I made it really fast. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm lightheaded. I didn't think you would, hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, wow. I did not expect it to be that funny. I feel like my humor is very basic, but just seeing Jumbo Josh go from like to just it, that, that was the best. That's what modding is all about though. Okay, now though, we could probably see secrets here. So I can add a light to this room. Oh, whoa, it's just a big long hallway. Whoa, look at this. This is at like the end of the hallway. It just goes on for like forever. I think same with the other side. Oh, wow, yeah, it is. So then, do we get to go into here? I think we do, right? Ah, I see. There's even more like secret rooms back here. Oh, I guess it's kind of not really a secret room. It's just like one structure. Like the entire map is just one building now. How would you like end the game without doing the sticker? I think, yeah, you would have to do it. Oh, but you know what? We, <laughs> we could see what happens as we peel off the sticker. So I'm looking with a third person camera. Oh, and he just spawns in? What? Hold on. No, oh no, I wanted to freeze it. Can I go back in time? <laughs> no. Oh, and I think I crashed my game. I did. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that has just been kind of like a fun video using mods to find some secrets in the future. Hopefully we could just do like more crazy stuff. Maybe like a friendly thing in the future. We make all of them friendly or even we go crazy like we've done before and just add in like crazy stuff. Maybe we flood everything in water too. It's, it's going to be cool because it's a city. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. I, uh, I hope I made you smile. That's all I want to do every single day. And if you're new, subscribe using your nose today. 
that's semi-difficult. But then I will welcome you to the DAC pack as we get closer and closer to 3 million subscribers. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. And I want to make you smile on every single episode. So hopefully I can in the next one. Probably coming right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.